Hey there Wolfpack, it's October 9th and we've got a lot going on this week. First we've got the dispute between Spider-Man and VR is in sports, but first here's some footage we took at Culture Wars last Monday. I'm Rachel Jones and this is The Brush Up. Well, it was definitely high energy. Uh, we had a great amount of dialogue and discussion, a few outbursts and interruptions towards the beginning, which uh, is somewhat a little bit unusual. It was the most interruptions we've ever had, but I thought a lot of the questions were thoughtful. I think there was a lot of misinformation, uh, which, which troubles me. Tried to clear that up when I was very deliberate and very intentional, kind of saying what I believe in and why I believe what I believe. Um, but yeah, it, it was a great event. It was packed. Um, and I think that we need more events like this on college campuses across the country. Say it loud, say it clear. Racist are not welcome here. Say it loud, say it clear. I'm out here protesting tonight because UNR has uh, time and time again proved that it uh, supports the voices of white supremacy and supports the voices of uh, people who want to do harm to marginalized members of our community over those marginalized members of our community. Um, and I want to make it clear that that's not okay and that giving a platform to a racist um, again is uh, not okay and that uh, we won't stand for it. If you're a big fan of Spider-Man in the Marvel Universe, then you're probably aware of the dispute between Disney and Sony. But we've got great news, Spider-Man is back and we think it's due to the fans. In August, fans were shocked over the announcement of the removal of Spider-Man from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Due to the passionate fan response and with the help of Tom Holland, Disney and Sony decided to resolve their issue so Spider-Man could stay in the MCU. The recent dispute between Sony and Marvel all came down to the profit sharing. Disney was planning to implement a 50-50 split with Sony over the future Spider-Man movies, which Sony disagreed with. Thankfully, fans can look forward to the new Spider-Man movie set to release in 2021. Now here's Morgan with some more news on sports and VR. Thank you, Rachel. Virtual reality has been growing tremendously, but one thing we didn't expect is to see it being used here at the university to help football players train. VAR, a VR technology company, has changed the public perception of what was previously thought possible in regard to VR's capabilities. One way they're doing that is integrating it on the football field. Currently, the version of VAR the Nevada football uses is limited to what is recorded through the 360-degree camera. Recently, VAR came out with an upgraded system that allows for holograms to be uploaded into the VR headset. This allows for athletes that are training to be tested in ever-changing scenarios, not just pre-recorded ones. Now, how cool is that? Well, that's all we have for this week. If you're interested in reading the full stories, you can find them right here. Just a little something the boys in the ad department and I whipped up. Which is on stands all over campus and on NevadaSageBrush.com. Go ahead and follow us at Nevada Sagebrush on Twitter and MV Sagebrush on Facebook and Instagram. That's all we have, but we'll see you next week. Bye.